Hi, I'm Jen with Making the Photo. Today I'm going to see if it's possible to reverse an AI image prompt in mid-journey. But as you'll see, it's not so much about recreating someone else's AI image. It's about understanding how prompts work, and it's a quest to find your own style in the process. I'm going to try to reverse engineer the prompt used to create Theater of the Spatial Opera by Jason Allen. It's been in the news lately as the first AI-generated image to win an art contest. I'm using this image because a lot of us have seen it, and I know it was created on Midjourney. As far as I know, the artist hasn't shared his prompt, so let's see if we can figure it out. Whether AI-generated images are really art is a deep philosophical question. In my own mind, if I can easily recreate this image in Midjourney, then the bot is probably doing most of the work. If I can't recreate it, then at least it takes some skill using the AI tool. I started by asking Midjourney to make me an award-winning AI-generated image. Clearly Midjourney isn't going to win any artistic awards without a little more input from me. Let's take a deeper look at Midjourney prompt structure and see if that helps. There are three main sections to a prompt. An image, the text describing what you want to see, and parameters that give Midjourney specific instructions. I've put a link to Midjourney's guide to prompting in the description below. Text is the content of your image, so let's start here. The artist hinted at a clue in the title, but a straightforward approach isn't going to get me very far. Midjourney gives me the space, but no opera. A little more concrete detail describing the scene, and a style word, gets me a little further. At least I'm in an opera theater now. I played with perspective to get me backstage at the opera. I tried backstage opera, singers, audience, singers on stage, opera house, cosmic opera stage, on stage with opera singer, and a lot of variations on this theme. I struggled to get Midjourney to show me the perspective that I wanted. I wasn't nailing the perspective, so I turned my attention to the adjectives. Midjourney is not just about describing what you want to see, but how you want to see it. This means adding adjectives and artistic styles that describe the vibe. In this example, I've lost the space futuristic element. Clearly, this is going to be harder than I thought. Unless you have a visual arts background, describing a look may be challenging. In Midjourney, it's not just about what you want to see, but how you want it to look. The bot is getting better at rendering realistic images, but at its core, it's an art generation app. I tried putting in a couple of specific artists in the prompt. This changed the look of the image. I have a background in the arts, but I'm limited to the major players, the Monets and Rembrandts of the world. It looks like we all need an artistic refresher course to use Midjourney. What I need is an app like the Plant ID app I have on my phone, except for artistic styles. Point my smartphone's camera at an image and it will tell me the style. There are Art ID apps out there, but they only work for famous works of art. An app that IDs artistic styles doesn't seem to exist, but I found a few tools that could help. One of them was Promptomania. I'll put a link in the description below. This app helps you build a prompt by giving you a smorgasbord of options. These options include artistic styles, and there are example images to help you out. You just choose which you like. In Promptomania, I added the subject and chose a few artists. In the end, I combined different artistic styles. It's not quite what I had in mind, but maybe I wasn't choosing the best artistic styles. Using this app, I didn't get closer to the target image, but it did expand my artistic ideas and vocabulary. Knowing what to look for, I went back to Midjourney for inspiration. I looked at artists and artistic styles used by other creators. One of the more helpful resources that I found is a Google Doc called Midjourney Artist Influence Reference Sheets. I'll put a link in the description below. I forget where I got this link, and if it's your work, let me know. I'm liking this artistic recipe for my own art, but this is not getting me closer to the target image. Let's look for some more help. This is when I found Lexica. Lexica searches stable diffusion images. Stable diffusion is an another AI art generation tool like Midjourney. I wasn't looking for the exact image, and mostly I didn't find what I was looking for. The style of stable diffusion is quite a bit different from Midjourney, but I did find this image and the prompt used creative. It was quite a detailed prompt. I ran it through Midjourney with the Opera Space Theater subject. The results were beautiful and vast, but much more Baroque than futuristic. Then I tried searching for images on Midjourney that looked like the target image. There's nothing complicated about doing this search, 
go to midjourney.com and search the Midjourney community. I searched Space Opera Stage and found a similar image by Campfire Steve. I tried Campfire Steve's prompt and got something different. Even though I ran the exact same prompt, I didn't get the exact same results. Midjourney is still evolving, but some of this is the randomness that comes with AI image generation. I can run this prompt every day for a week and I won't get the exact same image. Then I found a bit of open AI source code called Clip Interrogator by Pharma Psychotic. I'll put a link in the description below. Enter the URL of an image and it guesses at what the prompt might have been. It runs different models so you'll get different results. You may need to be a bit techy to get it to run, but the results were very helpful. This tool isn't going to get me directly to the target image, but it gave me some artists and text descriptions to try. The clip interrogator gave me some clues, but even when I ran the same image again a few days later, I got different results. So I put together some of the most likely candidates and constructed my own prompt. Finally, I did what I had been avoiding. I added the target image to Midjourney with an image weight of one and a few descriptors in the prompt. It was at this point I decided I was stumped. I couldn't reverse engineer the image. James Allen's secret image recipe is safe. But this experiment wasn't a complete failure. I found a few new prompt creation tools and I found a lot of interesting artists along the way. Lately, there's been a lot of press about AI replacing artists, but ironically, it could be the AI that brings some of these artists into the public eye. Here are a few of the artists I would never have known about if not for Midjourney AI. Some of these artists have a new biggest fan. Now my favorite thing to do is to combine two or more artists into a prompt. Da Vinci meets Klimt, or Ivazovsky meets Luzal. As a photographer with a classical music background, there have been many technology changes we thought were going to end art as we know it. Recording technology didn't end live performances, and photography didn't replace other forms of visual art. Digital photography wasn't the apocalypse that many film photographers thought it would be. Art has a way of equalizing out the changes. So in the end, I was not successful recreating this image. AI art created with Midjourney is unique to the artist and the time in which it was made. It is fleeting. It is ethereal, which makes it magical. Within the challenge, I made some images that I love, even if they weren't quite what I was after. The bot may be doing the technical work, but your images are uniquely your own. I tried my hand at reversing this image, and now it's your turn. Comment below with your prompts and results. How close can you get to the target image? This is Janet making the photo. Let's make something amazing together.